Hello and welcome to another edition of Air Force Basketball along with head coach Dave Pilipovich. I'm Brian German of the Falcons. Only had one game this past week and uh, I think you're glad you only had one game the way yeah. it turned out. Arkansas Pine Bluff came in a team with one win and uh, the Falcons didn't look so great for especially the first half coach. Actually I think our players thought we only had half a game. No. <laughs> we, we, it was a slow start. Yeah. We, we came out um, not ready to play and that's on me. And, uh, but we weren't very good in Thursday's practice Friday. In the Saturday shoot around. I think our guys were worn down a little bit with some illnesses, some academics. Plus, you know, they Google a lot of things on the internet, find out records are opposing team, although they played a demanding schedule. We could have played that schedule and been lucky to be one and seven. I mean, right. the teams they played. So we weren't focused. And once we came in, they were very focused and very sharp early and jumped out to a 12 0 lead. And thank goodness we kicked it in gear and were able to win the game. Most definitely. I think a silver lining, though, we harped on the uh, free throws mm -hmm. last show. Your team shot much better, 76% for the game. It yes. didn't miss in the first half. Yes, so. and that's something we've been emphasizing. We need to be a better shooting team. We Our goal is 80%, and we need to be around that to be competitive and win the games we're going to need to win in the conference. Yeah, most definitely. So it was nice to see that turnaround. What did you tell this team at halftime? I mean, we were down. I, this is on air, right? <laughs> yeah, this is on air. You can't, <laughs> can't say some of those things. Okay. No, we talked about um, <laughs> uh, setting the tempo, dictating how the game's going to be played, it's not who we play, it's how we play. Right. And the first five minutes will be very critical of us if we have a chance to win this game. We have to set the tone the first five minutes if we have a chance to win, and we did that. Is that a slogan you're going to put above the door now? It's not who we play. It's not We've used play that in our play. locker room yeah. a couple times this year, and that's that's got to be true. It's not who we play, it's how we play. Okay. Well, uh, the Falcons, now you get a break. We don't have enough room for the door. We have other things there right now. What says it now? What, what does it say? Family. 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 That's good. Yes. It's not who we play, it's how we play family. There you go. Okay. So you get a little break now. Your next game isn't until December 22nd. Yes. I guess, what's the schedule like? I know the players have finals coming up. They so. do. We're going to practice today, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, mm -hmm. and then we'll be off for finals uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Wow. And then we have some guys who will be finished, so we'll probably have an individual workout, weights on Tuesday, then team practice back next Wednesday, the 19th. Okay. Then we'll oh, practice oh. here Tuesday and leave the 20th. Only a military academy where they have finals on Saturday and Sunday. Yeah. That's awfully odd. Yeah, <laughs> But uh, do you feel your team will get some good rest during this time? I think so. I think we need a little break. We need some good competitive practices the next couple of days. We're going back to training camp, as we said. we got to clean some things up. We need some practices now. And then give us some break uh, for their academic schedule. Let them get healthy there and do well. And then we'll pick back up to prep for UC Riverside the following week. That's right. UC Riverside will be the next game the Falcons have on the schedule. That's December 22nd on the road in Riverside, California. What do you know about that team? And uh, I believe they're having a rough season so far. Yeah, played a very competitive schedule. We're out in Alaska, the Great Alaska Shootout. Very well coached. Coach Woolridge has been around the block. Kansas State, now that UC Riverside, very, very good defensive team. Mm -hmm. They'll be very de uh, good defensively like Wichita State. Maybe not have the talent as Wichita State had offensively, but there'll be some challenges for us. So it's going to be a game that we're going to have to be very physical in our offense and very patient in our offensive score against them. All right, and then you'll have a couple of games after that that will really test you. December Ooh. 29th at Florida yeah. and January 2nd against former Air Force head coach Chris Mooney and his Richmond Spiders. Mm -hmm. uh, let's just kind of put those in a nutshell. I guess what will these be two more games where you're just measuring yourselves? Or? Yeah, and those are going to be very similar to our conference games. I mm -hmm. think Florida at that time could possibly be ranked in the top three in the country. I think there are five maybe polls coming out today. Richmond's very talented. I think they're seven or eight and two right now. So those will be very good games to prep us to start versus Nevada the mm -hmm. following week. So it'll be good for us. It'll be good. The Florida game will be very challenging for us, sure. to say the least. <laughs> Some teams have a hard time scoring against them. I hope we score. Sure. <laughs> uh, but it'll be a great test for us. And then going to Richmond, playing in their environment, uh, a very well-coached team, very good team. So those games will be very good for us as we start the new year. Okay. And, uh, folks, we're going to take some time off, too, since the team gets a little time off and then they have those road games. We won't have another show until after the Richmond game, and then we'll check in with you there and see how everything went and show that they did not get shut out against Florida. <laughs> I'm making that prediction right now. So, uh, And then we'll have some highlights of those games for you as well. Talk to Coach P. Coach, in the meantime, good luck. Get a little rest. Yes. Hopefully your team will do well, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you, and happy holidays to everybody watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Most definitely. We'll see you next time.